Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Hey YouTube, what's up? What's up? Today what we're going to do is what we call, well, what I call the easy recipe. So we're going to do us some um, Cajun um, chicken injection, all right? So what I got over here, I got me some um, chicken filet breast, some boneless chicken filet breast. I want to inject these because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to do a food prep on those breasts and I want some flavor in that meat. And then I got right here is some um, four chicken thighs and I'm going to use these chicken thighs for a sous vide fried chicken. So I want to go ahead and inject these um, pieces of meat and I just want to see if the flavor is going to be definitely in that whenever I finish, finish frying it up and give that a taste. But this is the recipe for the injection. I got me a whole stick of butter that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to melt. So I got some chicken flavoring, some um, Norris chicken flavoring, and then I got some um, garlic powder along with that some Tony Saturones or Saturies um, Creole seasoning. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff together, and then I'm and I'm going to inject this in meat. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Watch this whole video. I guarantee you will love it. All right, YouTube fam, I got me some um, butter that I just melted up. I melt that that whole stick up right there in that bowl. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this here Norris chicken um, flavoring, put some of that in there. And I'm going to try to leave measurements for you guys below if you want to try this here recipe. And um, this is definitely good um, for like your poultry and some pork. And if you want to use this on, on a turkey, you could double up the recipe um, to um, inject that turkey. And I'm going to toss in some of this here Tony's. I just want to give this a nice little mix real quick from that pork. Just stir this up real quick. All right, so that's our injection. That's how easy it was right there. That's how easy it was. Now, I don't want you guys laughing at me, all right, because I'm about to do something. I got this little icy, um, <laughs> one of my grandkids' little icy things right here. I'm just going to take this out. And I just want to pour this here because I'm going to use this for my injection. I want to get all that goodness in there too. I'm going to use this for my injection. All right. I'm going to get that seasoning though. You know what? Let me try to do this the right way. All right. Matter of fact, let me... Pour that in there one more time. Mix everything up, because I want to get that seasoning up in there. I know it's going to fall to the bottom, but I do want to get it. All right. So, since I got that, I'm going to take my injector, stick it in there, and pull some of it right on through. As you can see, got me some of that seasoning in there. This is my injection right here. Now, I'm just gonna put that lid back on this thing. They know that Papa doing this, they'll probably kill me. So, get our chicken. And first pieces I want to inject will be these chicken thighs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these prepared. I washed my chicken off and I didn't clean, clean up as far as it goes with like the fat and the skin trimming from the um, chicken thighs or these here because what I'm going to do is I'm sous vide these chicken thighs so I'm going to fry them afterwards and I love the taste of that skin so I did not trim that skin at all just putting a little bit of that in there swelling it up yes alright so that's number one and I'm just hitting on two sides both sides of that bone getting in there that's number two and just let you see here right quick. Getting it in. All right. Just want to hit up in there. That's number three. 
And I think this is the last little piece, if I'm not mistaken. We got that. Hmm, I think that might have been the one. So, with those thighs are now done up. All right, so now I want to go ahead and inject these. Matter of fact, since this is all the injection that I have for that, you know what I mean? Might as well just tweak it on it no more. I'm going to just go ahead and open this back up. Yeah, let me go ahead and get this again. This little thing open. Hit my injection. Like a mad scientist up here getting this injector right. This stuff smells good, y'all. I'm telling you. It smells good. If it smells that good, then it must be good whenever I hit it. So I just want to do pretty much like one good injection with two, rather, because I got seven breaths. That's one. Mm-hmm. And hit it down here. That's two. I'm trying to hit it on two sides. And then hit it from here, coming this way. Three. Use this as sparingly as possible. And you can feel it swell as soon as you inject some of this here meat. That's four. That took it all right there. So let me go ahead and get the rest of this. Y'all, this stuff smells good. I'm telling you, it does. So I was able, I was able to inject four thighs and seven breasts, boneless chicken breasts with this injection, which is good. Very good. Look at that. I poked these with some forks. You see how it shot up out of there? This is the last breast. I wonder how juicy it is. Good tasting these on the B. I'm gonna put these on the George Foreman, y'all. So I am. Alright, so now what I wanna do, excuse me. Now what I wanna do, let me move these to the sink real quick. Let me show you what I wanna do here right now. So with this that I have left, let me go ahead and see if I can get that in there. I'm gonna inject some of these, some more of these pieces of um, chicken with what's left.
All right, so I took on some of the advice that some of you guys gave me last time when I posted a recipe um, for that chicken salad using the George Foreman. And some of you guys said, go ahead and inject um, the bird. So that's exactly what I'm doing now, making sure I get mad flavor in these here chicken breasts. And like I said, you could definitely um, double this recipe if you're trying to, um, if you want to use this um, for like a turkey or something. You know what I mean? And I might just end up doing this recipe for a whole bird and seeing exactly how this bird will, um, how it would do for the bird on the grill as well. Now, that's it for that. But what I'm going to do with the rest of this that's left, I'm just going to take all of this here because I don't want to waste that stuff. I just want to rub it in. Let this settle on the outside of the meat. I'm just rubbing these um, boneless thighs. Cause I'm not gonna do. I'm some I'm rubbing in the boneless breast, so I'm not gonna do the um rubbing in with this these um thighs because I'm gonna put those in the sous vide machine. There's no need for me to put that in there. All right, so I think that's it. So it smells good, y'all. I'm telling you. All right, so there you have it. Um, this is the um, Creole injection, butter injection. All right, so I used a whole stick of butter, melted, I melted it down, and I used some chicken, um, Norris chicken flavor, along with some garlic powder, and some Tony Saturation. Creole seasoning.